thank everyone for attending, especially the people who have worked diligently. The number of people working behind the scenes have, have been unbelievable. So thank you so much for, for attending. You know, I'm the elder I'm the elder statesman here. Okay, so I'm the el the, I'm the, the oldest guy on the ticket. I think there are five there are, you know four other great guys. I will tell you that it, it, this tonight is fantastic because not only did I get to see um, guys and gals that I graduated with, but a lot of the teachers that I used to teach with, you know, my tenure at Pittston area, and I actually had students that I had in school here. And I will, I will tell you that I've been uh, blessed in this valley. You know, it takes a village to educate someone, and this village educated me. I've, had, I've, been, I've been blessed with a great family. My wife Carol's back there, and uh, my, my son Charles, and my son Joseph. So, you know, I've come up through this valley, you know, I learned at Pittston area, went to King's and Scranton University, um, and, and was a teacher at Pittston area, grew up through Bevico Food Service, and from a little guy in Browntown, Pennsylvania, I've, the last 30 years I've been a financial turnaround guy, turning around companies. And quite honestly, I've reported to investors for the last 20 years. And I don't see this job any, any different than when I reported to investors because now I'm going to still report to an investor if you're so kind enough to elect us because those investors are going to be our, our taxpayers. But the most important thing I see is that, you know, Pittston area, I, I, look, at, I look at everything from a, from a business standpoint. Pittston area is a brand, a brand that was formed almost 40 years ago with the hard work and diligence of everyone in this valley when it was formed, and from administration to teachers, et cetera, et cetera. And that, you know, that brand has been tarnished. And there's, there's gonna be three things that, that if we are in a right to your vote, we're going to need. And you will have our commitment. One's integrity. I don't think I have to go any further on integrity. I think you'll have the integrity. The other is going to be courage we will have the courage to make tough decisions. And then lastly, the commitment to stay the course. I think everybody, you know, it's like I, 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 I will tell students and I tell my sons and, and I tell you know, associates in our companies, look, you'll get your say doesn't always mean you're gonna get your way. So with that, I really, really hope that we have the ability to earn a right to your votes, your family votes, your friends' votes, because there's a lot of heavy lifting to do. I think there's been a lot of great work that has been done. Uh, and when you look at a school district, it's no different than a company. Companies, the, district, the school district is not bricks and mortar. It's people and the passions of those people. And that is why I think we're all here. We all know we're here for the kids, but a district is made up of a lot more than those kids. So thank you very much. We appreciate you coming. I'm gonna get through this.